Well, welcome back to Good Day Chicago. It is 948 on a Wednesday morning and what better way to kick off hump day than with some delicious food. Forget the chips and dip on Super Bowl Sunday. We're about to blow them all out of the water, right? Absolutely. Jordan Himmel from Gino's East, uh, an iconic place here in Chicago. You guys are known for the pizza and really the amazing food, but today you brought quite a spread that involves more than just the delicious pizza, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a couple things that we're doing at the restaurant. So we just moved. Oh, okay. We All moved right. to 500 North LaSalle. This so is the new look. River North location, is correct. that correct? Okay. Yeah, this is the new addition to the Gino's East family. Okay. And, and what are you teaching me to make this morning? So we've got some food forward dishes here. We're going to be making a caramelized onion and beer dip that we're going to put on a salmon crostini. Okay, well that already sounds delicious. You've already one up to the bag of Doritos that I was going to bring to Jake's party. So let's go. What do I do? What do I do? It's very simple. We've okay. got some ricotta cheese. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put all our ricotta cheese in the bowl here. We've got some sour cream. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add that as well. And this is no cooking actually involved, no kind of oven involved except maybe heating up a few things? Well, there is one ingredient that we did cook a little bit. And that's the onions. That's correct. But that's not, that's not too hard, right? You just caramelize them. It's very simple. Okay. We actually use a stout beer to caramelize our onions. We use a little balsamic vinaigrette okay. and some sugar. And you reduce it down. You throw the onions in there. Well, that's easy enough. You yeah. can do that ahead of time too, right? Absolutely. Make your Super Bowl Sunday a little bit easier while you're rubbing it into your friends that your team's going to win, right? <laughs> do you, I'm going to help you out here, Jordan. Go for it. Okay, Start so mashing that together. It. Okay. We've got a little um, spice mix here. Okay. There's just some white pepper, some salt. We're going to do a little fresh nutmeg in there as well. Okay. Some granulated garlic. Are you getting some this, Susie? This powder. smells so good. I wish people at home could smell this. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. And then we're going to top it with some Worcestershire sauce. Yum. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, a yeah. little bit of Bloody Mary in there, right? That's right. It gives it that extra kick. It's Why really not? delicious. Okay. And then what's, what's yeah. next? So step? we've got that all mixed up pretty well. We're going to take our little spoon over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I've taken over your. <laughs> That's okay. okay. That's what we got it there for. And you're just going to take a little dollop. You know, put it right on the top of the crostini here. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. And then what we did was we took our smoked salmon and we kind of rolled them into these little long, long shapes it here. It looks beautiful. Yeah. yeah wow. Thank you. We just place it right on top like that, and actually we finish it. That is better than any bag of chips that I was going to show up with at a Super Bowl party. This looks and smells. I wish our viewers at home could smell this. It smells delicious. Thank While you. I keep making these, I want you to tell me about some of the other options you've brought because you really run the gamut here. Yeah, so we've changed a lot of things over at Gino's East at uh, uh, La LaSalle and, and Illinois. Okay. So one of the things that we're doing now is gourmet deep dish pizzas. Okay. This is our jalapeno blue. It's got jalapenos stuffed with bacon and blue cheese on it. Yeah. It's pretty decadent. Next is our deep dish nachos. It's pretty traditional nachos. We have a, a homemade refried beans that we do and okay. our homemade pinko de gallo. And we actually bake them in our signature deep dish All pans. All made in-house. All made in-house. Oh, that's pretty, and that's something you could pick up and bring if you're going to somebody else's Super Bowl party. Those are both items you could easily pick up, show up at a party, and be the hit of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Call ahead, order it. We'll have it sitting waiting for you and hot ready to go. Yum. All right, what's over here? Next to that, we have our lime ceviche, and Yum. it's a shrimp ceviche. It's nice, fresh, some some pico de gallo in there as well. Okay. In the center, we actually have a white pizza. This is an artichoke and garlic pizza. And there's a little bit of lemon juice and, and uh, just to give it some, some color and some, some vibrant uh, acidity. All right, look, I gotta tell you, I'm not doing a very good job with these because they look beautiful when you do them. When I do them, while they smell delicious, they perhaps don't look as pretty. But okay, very quickly before we've gotta go, you've got some beer selections and sliders. I love the idea of sliders at a Super Bowl party. We've got some brisket sliders. We braise wow. those for over eight hours, so they're nice and tender, and actually some pickled cucumbers to go look on the that. side there. Really delicious. Love it. Great. We have over 18 craft beers on tap and over 40 beers from all around the world by the bottle. Perfect. They're really delicious. Salut. Cheers. Thank Happy you. Super Bowl. Thank, Thank you. you for serving me on a Wednesday morning. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect Super Bowl party. Jake, I'll bring all this stuff to your place. We'll be right back after the break. Right now we're going to celebrate the Super Bowl a little early. Right, Jordan? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.